I studied language, how it's constructed. It turns out most languages, most Western languages, operate on a system of binary oppositions. Everything has an opposite. So you've got black and white, good and evil, rich and poor, man and woman. And because our consciousness is shaped by language, the way that we instinctually understand something is by its relationship to its opposite. The fucked up thing is that these uh, binaries are calibrated so that one side is the standard and the other lacking the standard. So black is lacking white, poor is lacking rich, woman is lacking man. This makes sense because uh, our language is a derivation of Latin and Rome was an epicenter of rich white men, but it leaves women and people of color sort of out in the cold. And I learned in my women's studies class that Virginia Woolf had a theory about a male sentence versus a female sentence. A male sentence is aggressive, linear. It has an objective, and when it communicates that objective, the sentence is over. A female sentence is more circuitous. Its point is not necessarily to achieve, rather to explore, to convey feeling, mental state, consciousness, images, uh, like Wolf's novels. <laughs> The problem is that you can't read too many female sentences in a row or you feel like you're going insane. There's no order there. Nothing happens. The sentences keep looping over and under themselves, forwards and backwards. And I, I hated reading Wolf. I thought it was a waste of time. But my professor had a good point. She said there was order in the writing, but it wasn't the order that we expected. It wasn't the system we had learned. The author was tapping into a consciousness that did not have a language. Which is why all of this has been a very long-winded way of crediting your feelings about speaking in a foreign tongue. You might be right. Our language, the language we speak, might not be your first language as a woman. Alright, uh, that's it. That's everything that I learned in college.